Hey friends, what's going on? Welcome to another video for my YouTube channel. Um, styling another look. Today is inspired by another person. I met somebody that I've been following for a really long time. Really long time, before I started vlogging. Way before I started vlogging. And we are meeting up for the first time today to take some photos. And he's traveled here, so obviously his wardrobe is limited, so I was like, listen, whatever you're wearing, I'll try and adjust. That somebody is Andreas Week. I found him when, when he was on Lookbook, when, on my, my early days when I was just dreaming of being on Lookbook. So I was a huge fan of him back then and I've followed him since, and he hit me up because he's in New York right now. So we met up and our friend Nick took a few photos. and. So in the morning I was like, listen, what are you wearing? And I know he usually wears some like relaxed fits. And he told me he's wearing black, brown, and blue. Fairly like neutral, fallish colors. I'm like, alright, cool, I can deal with that. So I started my outfit for the day. The first thing that I knew I was gonna wear are these black jeans. Somewhat washed out black. They're more relaxed, they're from the Swedish label Koss, same house as HM. And I knew that they were going to be perfect just in terms of the fit and in terms of the look that I was going to create around it I knew I was going to match his style and the wash out black, I mean he said black going brown so I started with these jeans and that's just what I took then the sneakers, it was a fairly a not really obvious choice but to me I kind of went there and that was the first pair of shoes I picked out and I love them, these are from Paul Andrew a New York designer who has designed for very very big houses and he started his menswear collection so these light brown sneakers with medium brown patches are my choice for this look. I, again, we, we, we said black, brown, and blue. I don't know how many times I'm going to say this video. Probably a lot if I know myself right. So the brown, that was my way to go. And then I actually stood in my closet for quite a bit because I had no idea what, what, t what I would do on the top. I don't know. Like that combination of that sneaker with that jean, I hadn't even thought about it in the past, so I didn't really know. And like obviously black and blue, I tried to get the blue in there. But this is the first thing I tried on. This jacket from Top Man. And it's black and blue, but the fit is it's just a little bit too fitted, too orderly. I wanted something more relaxed, more brushing the dust off. Just something a little bit more relaxed, I think is the best word to describe that. So after another few minutes of thinking about what I was gonna do, I finally found a denim jacket that I thought could work with it. And that's this guy. This Jacket is from Adriana Goldschmidt, AG Jeans. It's a ripped up denim jacket and it's a light wash, like denim. It's a light blue denim jacket. So I thought he was probably gonna go more navy, but I thought the blue worked well with this. The, the silhouette works, the washed out aesthetic works with the sneaker, it works with the jeans, and I like that. So I went with that and I found a shirt for underneath, which is this one right here. As you can see, I'm putting it on, jacket on top. It's also washed out somewhat loose but not too crazy like baggy or anything worked with the jacket well I kind of I, I really like the two together I had never even thought about this combination whatsoever so it's really nice if you try and match somebody else's style you really do things that you kind of wouldn't usually I know this is not like a crazy outfit but I just wouldn't have thought of it that way I'm trying the pants rolled up a little more which I don't like I um, you know, a few of you have asked me whether there's whether I have any rule on rolling up pants. I really don't. Sometimes I don't, sometimes I do, and I don't even I can't even tell you if I like oh, they always have to be to this height or you always have to cuff them twice. I change the widths, I change the amount of times I cuff them up depending on how the shoe looks, how the look looks. In this case, I wanted something that's um I don't know, just not not too summery anymore. We're kind of trying to get into like a transitional look for the fall. So in this case, I just flipped them up once, and that's all I needed. Then one last thing, I added the watch. This is my Apple Watch with this sand-colored strap, and um, I actually also added a ring, which I'll show you in a second. But for now, this was the look that I was happy with. It's black, brown, and blue. Variation of that, somewhat relaxed, that I thought would work with um, Andreas' style. And I'm really stoked that you guys can see the photos of us together. I am happy. There we go. Happy. So I'm really stoked for you guys to see the photos together. Please check out the blog post. I'm putting the link always uh, at the bottom. That's where you can shop the pieces and where you can see more photos so you can see the pieces in detail. I also had added this ring. Focus. This feather ring from M. Cohen. Which I added um, 
uh, as I went out, I had the ring up front. I haven't worn a ring in a while. I added it, I thought it was cool. And it was just like a finishing touch for the look. So I hope you guys liked the video today. I'm really looking forward to the fall season where we can layer again a little bit. In New York it's been a little colder, which has been nice. But if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these videos and turn on notifications so you know when I upload something and try and do it on the daily. I'm probably not going to do it every day, but as often as possible for you guys. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave a comment and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.